Hello, this is Don Watkins, Community Moderator with OpenSource.com with this week's Top 5. This week we look at four open source business models to consider, how to create custom wallpaper slideshows in GNOME, how to generate web pages with CGI and Perl, and more. At number 5, four successful open source business models to consider. Daniel Rubenstein, a computer science undergraduate at Duke University writes about how companies can grow with open source at the heart of their business model. If you'd like to build a business around open source, here are four successful models to consider. At number four, create custom wallpaper slideshows in GNOME. Did you know that you can create slideshows as your wallpaper in GNOME? Ken Van Dyne of Durham has an excellent step-by-step -step article about how with simple XML, you can set GNOME to display a custom slideshow instead of its stock options. At number three, how to generate web pages using CGI scripts. Did you know that it's actually very simple to create CGI programs that can be used to generate a wide range of dynamic web pages? Community moderator David Both with an easy to follow guide that will have you generating dynamic content quickly. At number two, Image manipulation using image magic and Perl. Greg Pittman, a retired neurologist and lifelong learner, explains how to use the Perl magic module to organize multiple images from the command line. This article is a great example of the power of Linux and open source software in medical imaging. And at number one, five must read sysadmin articles from 2017. Choosing the best of anything is always challenging, and choosing OpenSource.com's best sysadmin articles from 2017 was no exception. Community moderator David Both takes a look at the top five articles of system administrators that we published in the last year. And our honorable mention this week is the Lulzbot 3D Printer Giveaway. We're wrapping up the fourth and final week of our holiday giveaway series in style, with a Lulzbot 3D printer from LF Objects. Enter by this Sunday at 11.59 p.m. Eastern Time for a chance to win. Well, that's it for this week. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.